Hey guys, Tony here with a quick TA video for you on GameStop per some of your requests in my most recent GameStop video. Let's look at what I see here on the GameStop chart, why I have not been holding GameStop and what I'm looking for to get a good entry into this stock if I decide to go that route. GameStop, as we look at the overall picture here, has undeniably been for the last couple of years in a falling wedge pattern. So we take the high points and we draw that resistance line at the top. We take the low points on the chart and we draw the support line. And then those lines converge down towards the bottom right corner. As we zoom in on the daily chart with some exceptions, like when the company did the four for one, stock split the falling wedge pattern has very reliably shown us where the support and resistance lines are on this stock now in light of the recent q4 earnings my expectation is that the stock price will continue to meander down through this wedge finding support at the bottom and resistance at the top and those are the two points that we want to be paying close attention to. If you are seeing the stock just meander down within this wedge, then that is your signal to wait and keep watching. If on the other hand, on a daily close, it breaks through that top resistance line, then you have two things to think about. Do you want to go ahead and buy immediately and hope that that is confirmation of a breakout? If you do that, make sure you have a stop loss near that top resistance line in case it falls back through. The second option would be just wait, wait a couple days and make sure it is a confirmed breakout or wait and see if it drops back into the wedge. On the flip side, when we look at the support line on the bottom, that is where we are looking to get our good entry. It's not absolutely certain that if it hits that bottom support line that it's gonna stop there, right? It could keep going, but that is a point that you could consider if you get a close at the bottom support line, that might be a good time to think about taking an entry on GameStop. And we can see that in real life here back in late November 2023, where the stock bounced off of the bottom support line and ran up, what, about uh, from 1183 to $18. So overall, not a bad trade if you played that support line to resistance line trade. These are my rules for how I've been trading GameStop for the last 18 to 24 months. I've not been long-term holding it. I've been buying on these lows and selling into the run-ups. Hopefully some of you found this useful. I know it's not going to be for everybody. Feel free to drop me your questions and comments below. I am Tony DeNaro and I will see you on the next video.